From animals who don't lay eggs, unlike what you probably thought, to the heartwarming concept of owl mothers, these are the 10 most crazy ways animals give birth. Let's get to our list. Number 10. Stingray gives birth. You probably think that all sea animals hatch eggs, but this is actually far from the truth. Stingrays, for example, give birth to live young. This is a process known as ovoviviparity. The fertilized eggs develop within the female's body and receive nourishment from a yolk sac. Once fully developed, the baby stingrays, known as pups, are born alive and fully formed, typically in litters of 1 to 4. The number of pups in a stingray's litter can vary depending on the species of stingray. Some species of stingray also exhibit a form of reproduction called oviparity, where the females lay eggs and the young hatch outside of the mother's body. Now this is simply mesmerizing. Number 9. Hedgehog gives birth. Let's move to land animals for a bit and take a look at how cute little hedgehogs are when they're born. These tiny creatures are well known for their spines but are actually born spineless and hairless. They develop their distinguishing spines over time. Hedgehogs' eyes are closed at birth and don't open for the first couple of weeks. Another crazy aspect of hedgehog birth is that the females have delayed implantation of the fertilized egg. This means that the fertilized egg does not immediately implant in the uterus, but instead remains in a state of suspended development. The egg will not implant until the conditions are favorable for the survival of the young, such as the availability of food. This allows the hedgehogs to time their births to coincide with the optimal time to raising the young. Number 8. Snake Giving Birth Another animal you probably thought hatched eggs is the snake, but again, you're incorrect. Well, at least not completely, but let us explain. Some species of snakes such as boas and pythons retain the eggs inside of the body and provide nourishment to the developing young through a placenta, similar to mammals. As we saw before, this is known as oviviparity, or oviparity with retained eggs. Other species of snakes, such as vipers or garter snakes, give birth to fully developed, live young without the use of a placenta. This is known simply as viviparity. Another crazy thing about snakes giving birth is that their younglings are born fully developed and are able to move around and fend for themselves immediately after birth. They do not receive any further care or protection from their mother and have to be able to find food and avoid predators on their own. Number 7. Giraffe Giving Birth Although snakes are fascinatingly capable and ready for life when they first arrive on Earth, there is one mammal whose birth process is quite unusual. Some might even consider it dangerous. Giraffes are the tallest living animals, but they also have one of the strangest birth processes that you'll ever witness. The gestation period for a giraffe is approximately 14 to 15 months. When a mother giraffe is ready to give birth, it will typically find a secluded spot away from the herd. The mother will give birth while standing up, with the baby giraffe emerging front hooves first, followed by the head and then the rest of the body. As if this wasn't strange enough, the calf will drop to the ground from a height of 6 feet or more. The fall breaks the amniotic sac and causes the calf to take its first breaths. Wouldn't you want to witness such an outstanding happening? We know we would. Number 6. Lioness Gives Birth Lionesses, like giraffes, typically give birth in a secluded den or a thicket, away from the rest of the pride. After giving birth, the lioness will fiercely protect their cubs, keeping them hidden for the first few weeks of their lives. Nevertheless, the pride will later play an important role in the rearing of the cubs, as all the lionesses will take turns in caring for the cubs and even nursing them. This term is known as alimothering. The cubs will stay with their mother and the pride for two to three years, learning important survival skills and social behaviors before they're old enough to leave and establish their own territory. The gestation period for a lioness is approximately 110 to 120 days. Number 5. Zebra Gives Birth Another animal similar to a giraffe when it comes to giving birth is a zebra. The gestation period for a zebra is approximately 12 to 13 months, and when a mother zebra is ready to give birth, it will typically find a secluded spot away from the herd. The mother will also give birth while standing up, and the baby zebra emerging front hooves first, followed by the head, and then the rest of the body. After giving birth, the mother will clean off the baby, known as a foal, and within an hour, the foal will be able to stand up and take its first steps. The mother will then leave the foal to join the herd, where it will be introduced to the rest of the zebras. 
Zebras have a strong social bond, the foal will be welcomed into the group and will be guarded by the dominant stallion and other adult zebras. This behavior ensures the survival of the foals even in the presence of predators. Number 4. Impala Gives Birth Impalas give birth to a single calf, usually after a gestation period of around 6.5 to 7 months. The birth process typically takes around 30 minutes, and the calf is able to stand and walk within a few minutes of being born. Impalas also tend to give birth in secluded areas away from the herd. They're known to synchronize their births with a majority of females, giving birth within a short period of time. This behavior is thought to be an adaptation to protect their young from predators. By giving birth at the same time, the young are able to blend in with the larger group, making it more difficult for predators to single out and attack an individual calf. Additionally, the presence of many young impalas may also make it harder for predators to distinguish the vulnerable young from the adults. Number 3. Rhinoceros Birth Rhinos give birth to a single calf after a gestation period of around 15 to 16 months. The birth process can take several hours and the calf is typically able to stand and walk within a few hours of being born. Rhinos give birth in secluded areas or in tall grass that protect the calf from predators. The calf will stay close to its mother for several years and will typically nurse for around a year. Some species of rhino such as the white rhino or the black rhino are known to be very protective of their young and will aggressively defend them against potential threats. Number 2. Donkey Gives Birth Another animal with a long gestation process is the donkey. Donkeys give birth to a single foal, usually after a gestation period of around 12 to 14 months. The birth process typically takes around an hour, and the foal is able to stand and walk within a few hours of being born. Donkeys give birth in secluded areas away from the herd to protect the foal from predators. The foal will stay close to its mother for several years and will typically nurse for around a year. Donkeys are protective of their young and will aggressively defend their foals against potential threats, which is a common trait amongst equids. Number 1. Elephant Birth Our thumbnail picture for today might look like this elephant is an excellent ballet dancer, but this is actually how it looks when the animal is giving birth. Elephants have a 22-month long pregnancy and give birth to a single calf. The birth process can take several hours, so we can only imagine how exhausted the mother elephant might be after this time, in this position as well. Elephants give birth in secluded areas away from the herd to protect the calf from predators, and the calf will stay close to its mother for several years after that. The awesome thing is that other female elephants in the herd will help the mother during labor and later take care of the calf alongside her. So, what was your favorite among these 10 crazy birth processes? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.